So here we go, we have got seven files over here. It says it just down here. And those seven files are gonna rename themselves and end up down over here, all by the power of multi-actions. And you are gonna be so amazed by that that you're gonna hit the comments and say, it's the best thing I've ever seen. And you're probably gonna be smashing the like button, the subscribe button, and just make sure you do it enough time so that it's still highlighted afterwards. I just saved so much time using this device here, using something called multi-actions, that I thought I'd share it with you, because you know what they say, time is money. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is called a Stream Deck. It's basically a keyboard with programmable buttons, and you can program with things like shortcut keys, applications, you know, those sort of things, so that when you push the button, it basically just does what you tell it to do. Let me show you how that works if you haven't seen it before. I'm using a particular type of software called OBS. It's programmed to that button there. This is all the controls that I've got for it. Now you're gonna to want to see a close up view. So if I press this, I can change the scenes so that you can now see what's happening up above. Now, if I press these buttons here, I can now change the scene. Um, and basically what I'm now gonna do is to change it so that you can see my desktop and there we go. So it's a very good, simple tool. And what I did with this is I basically, <laughs> the other way, I had to change all these file names up behind me here. And so I was gonna do it manually. And then I thought, I wonder if I can use multi-actions, which is a, something, a bit of software built into this so that I don't have to basically change every single one. And have a look what I ended up doing. So basically what I did was, uh, let's just go home. Uh, go up to here, here's all my multi-actions, and if you watch just up at the top here, when I push this button here, you'll see all these names changing. And now it's finished doing its job. If I scroll down to the bottom, here are all of the names that have just been changed. Before I show you how I did it, let me tell you why I did it. Because there's a little bit of a story behind this and you might find that I went a little bit over the top. You see, what happened is I downloaded a whole heap of keys, icons, that I can use on this Stream Deck. And as you can see here, I've ended up with a whole heap of folders. And when I went into those folders, there was folders in folders. And what I wanted to do was to have one great big file with all of the icons in them. Here they are from, I think most of them were from Nerd or Die. I wanted them all in that, but I didn't want them all messed up, all jumbled up. I wanted, wanted them in order. So I wanted to put a code at the beginning of each name, at the, at the beginning of each file in each folder so that I could keep them all together and rather than them all jumbling up. The only problem is, if you have a look down the bottom here, uh, there's uh, almost a thousand icons and I haven't finished yet. You imagine how long that would take me to basically click onto the icon, click on it again, basically get rid of it, type it in with my two fingers, because I'm, you know, I've got better than using one, and then hitting enter and then going on to the next one. So I thought what I would do is to use this thing called multi-action, which allows you to put all different things in. Now what I did have to do, and I'm hoping that you can see this, is that uh, I did have to write down a whole heap of instructions how to write these. It took me a little while um, to do this. Not nearly as long as it would have done to have transferred a thousand files. So, uh, a little bit less of me chatting and let me show you how you can do this and how you can build up basically a macro you know, a program that will change things for you. So to begin with, let's open up the software that actually does the job. Uh, I'm gonna go back up to my homepage that I've made here. Uh, I am then going to go to my applications and I'm going to open up the software that I've got. Now, you can't see the software because I haven't transferred the screen, but if I move this over now, you should be able to see both the screen and the stream deck. So you can see what's happening here now is that you have got both the uh, the on the on the software part of the Stream Deck and you've got the actual Stream Deck itself. So if I was to change this screen now, you'll see that it changes on the software as well. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to click into one of these spare buttons. Basically, I'm going to right click in it. And down here you can see it says create a multi-action. 
So that's exactly what I am going to do. Next, I'm going to click on the multi action and you can see that I can label it and I can type on there, change name, uh, because why not? And hopefully it fits all along the top, does just about. And now what I'm gonna do is to click on it again and you can see here is where I can drag in all my different rules. So what I wanted to do is to have a hotkey and that hotkey can be anything that you press. So if I click down here, I might want to say F2, I'm going to rename the actual file itself. Then what I want to do is to have another hotkey and I want it to, to go to the beginning of the name that I'm renaming. So I'm gonna hit left. I'm then going to put some text into it. So I'm gonna drag this in here and I'm going to put name change and down at the bottom here you can decide whether you want to press enter after putting in this text well i do want it to do that otherwise i'm going to have to put in another hotkey and then what i'm going to do is to put in a, another hotkey for it to go down on the file and so once again i'm going to click that and press down so that now is my macro it's my multi-action so if i go back up to the top here there it is, you can see it in the, you can see it here and you can also see it in the Stream Deck. So if I open up my file again with all of those names, there it is. So you can see there's all the names we've changed already. What I'm gonna do is to go back up to this webcam off here. You can see that it's already highlighted. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna push this button here and you'll see it changes the name and it's now disappeared down to the bottom with all the rest of them. Actually, for any of you that were paying attention, it is actually just there. Um, I didn't have my glasses on and I lied to you uh, for the sake of the video. Um, but uh, let's carry on and forget about this. Now that you would think would be the end of that. Well, I can tell you right now, it wasn't the end of that because what I realized was, even though I've just made a macro, that will change the name and then I can sit there and keep pushing it, I realise that I'm going to have to keep pushing it for about, I don't know, a thousand times. And given that I am a bit lazy, to be honest, uh, I didn't really fancy doing that. It's not so much lazy, I just had better things to do with my time rather than sitting here and pushing a button a thousand times. So, I made a few more multi-actions. Actually, no, that's not entirely true. I made a lot more multi-actions. Okay, let me show you what I've got down here because I think you will appreciate it. Uh, so first of all, I made a single file name change. Uh, then I made it so I could change two at the same time, then three, then four, then five. But five, I thought, I, I, you're probably going to be able to double some of these up if you wanted to. So I made a 10 file change, uh, file name change, and then a 20 file name change. By the time I got to five though, the copy and pasting that's going on inside of the actual software was getting a little bit too cumbersome. By the way, um, if there is a way of copying the whole, all of the actions in a multi-action and then pasting them again without having to do them individually, let me know in the comments. And uh, if there is a way, give me a thumbs up. And if there isn't a way, give me a thumbs up. And if there is absolutely, definitely a not a way, uh, subscribe because you know why the hell not all right let's get back into what happened next so uh, I made a copy and paste so that I could actually copy all of the multi action functions and then basically what I did is I wrote down every single step as you can see there uh, that it takes uh, to copy and paste each one and then repeat the steps that's how I made number 10 and number 20 then what I realized is that um, to actually do these functions, I need to change the details uh, of the actual files, um, how, how they look. So I made a button that actually changes the look, then I made another couple of buttons to change all the different looks. Then I found out that what I want to do is to copy and paste uh, the actual files into another folder. So I made a button to do that, and then I made another button to change the folders because and here's the thing, just have a look at this. So here we go, we have got seven files over here. It says it just down here. Those seven files are gonna rename themselves and end up down over here 
all by the power of multi-actions and you are going to be so amazed by that that you're going to hit the comments and say it's the best thing I've ever seen and you're probably going to be smashing the like button, the subscribe button and just make sure you do it enough time so that it's still highlighted afterwards. Alright, let's get into this, let's see if this is going to work. First of all, let's change these files uh, into a simple view, there we go, that's beautiful. Then we're going to click the name button and I'm going to hit the top one there. I'm going to press five because there's seven of them and I haven't got a seven button. But I am now going to press the two button because that's all I've got left. There they go. Now we're going to copy to the other folder. You watch it. Select all, copy, paste. There they go. Get into the comments and say how great a thing this is. The, the best thing you've ever seen. Don't forget the like and subscribe button while you're at it. But I haven't finished yet. Let's change that folder and get into the next one. There it is. There's the next folder. So if I change the details there and I'll, I'll click the name, reorder them, click on the top one. We've only got five. It's a one button press. There it goes. It's changing the names and now it's changed the names. Let's copy to the other folder. Prove it wasn't a fluke. There they go. They've gone. And once again, we're going to come back here change into the next folder, ready and raring to go for the next lot, which is 47, and that's way too much to show you right here and right now. So I promise you I will stop there. But multi-actions, they are really good. Make use of them. Uh, you can use them, probably not for changing file names as much as this, but you can, you can use them to save a whole bunch of time if you're editing using things like PowerPoint, Word, um, or even or even uh, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, you know, any sort of editing that you do that involves doing lots of clicking, you can just have that single action push down here on the Stream Deck. They're well worth it. They are absolutely well worth it. Um, I'll do a review one day, uh, but just not now because I know that you at this moment are brimming with excitement, so much so that uh, you're probably just gonna need to go, go and have a cup of tea and a lie down. All right, guys, take it easy. Enjoy yourselves and I'll see you next time.